What's the most ridiculous fact you know? The number one buyer of explosives in the world is the US military, number two is Disney. This sounds terrifying until you realize it's just four fireworks. But I mean they could be storing up secretly and in the next few years DreamWorks is going down. There are 22 stars in the Paramount logo. I'm just waiting for a pub trivia night where that will be the question that wins me $100. And there are 12 flowers on an Oreo. I probably wouldn't know this, but I got this question at two different trivia nights. Mozart wrote the Night Queen aria so his sister-in-law could show off. The piece is so good that it is included in a collection of music from Earth on both the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft, and he wrote Come Scoglio because he hated the singer who was going to perform it and knew the note changes in it would make her head bob like a chicken. Also, let me chai marsh, fun Mozart facts. Oklahoma State Vegetable is a watermelon, but, yep. Gordon's Gin's label reads world's number one international gin. This is because it's the world's number two selling gin. The world's number one selling gin is a brand that is only sold in the Philippines, which sells so much that despite only selling in that country it outsells every other gin brand globally. I've remembered this since I had a Snapple override on 010 years ago. Snapple Fact 777. Cat have two sets of vocal cords. One for meowing and one for purring. Thank you for letting me get that out. There was a tiny self-declared Republic of Canada that lasted for a few months in the winter of 1851, 1852, what happened to it, it froze. One of the oldest tablets from Mesopotamia is a customer complaint, there is even a whole collection that was discovered, so some dude did a terrible job trading copper and kept all the complaints he got about it in a room specifically built to house the complaints. Kangaroos have two vaginal canals, only the females. But that does mean the average kangaroo has one vagina. You will die if you consume the liver of a polar bear. That much vitamin A is too much for humans to handle. You'll also die if a polar bear consumes your liver. Peelfish live in the anus of sea cucumbers. Anal beads of the sea. Your intestines know how get back in the right place. When doing abdominal surgery and the intestines need to be moved or rearranged, the doctor will just stuff them back in. They will then wriggle back into place. Imagine a surgeon moves your liver by an inch, and the liver is just like, absolutely if I'm not, well, he's a surly drunk, can confirm, mine had to be hosed down when my appendix exploded and the surgeon said they just stuffed it all back in, and I've been pooping like a trooper ever since so I'm assuming it got its sh together, holy sh I'm so glad my appendix didn't burst when I had appendicitis, they just took your guts out and hosed em down. Can you imagine being a nurse for the first surgeon to do this sorry you're going to what now I'm just gonna shove the shin there. I know I'm not a doctor but that doesn't sound very proper. Hey you right. You're not a doctor. So grab a handful of intestine and start shoving. I witnessed a surgeon do this while I was doing a clinical rotation in nursing school. He was just pulling loops of intestine out rapidly, examining. I think throwing in a suture every once in a while if needed, and then slopping it all back in while his preferred music was blaring in the background. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I kept looking at my preceptor to gauge whether that was normal. The whole or rotation was nothing like I had imagined it would be. If you stand at the base of the clock tower in London commonly called Big Ben with a digital radio tuned to the BBC, you'll hear the sound of the bell striking the hour via the radio before you hear it live. In other words, sound travels faster digitally from the microphone in the tower to the BBC studio to their transmitter to your radio, than it does analogically from the bell to you. The pronunciation of Arkansas is defined by the state legislature due to the first us senators representing Arkansas disagreeing on how to pronounce the state name. And take 250 power naps a day. And grizzly bears can consume up to 100,000 calories per day. This indicates that I am half ant. Half bear. You are also half man. You are man bear ant. I'm super cereal. A human body can produce enough carbon upon cremation to make 200 pencils. You can be your own souvenir at your funeral. You can be your own souvenir at your funeral. Spoken like a true Ferendi, the Grand Nagus would be proud. Sounds like a good way to set yourself up for some kind of weird soul magic if you ask me. I don't trust BS not to write some weird voodoo spell with my bone pencil and summon my soul to do their bidding. Sounds like a fun after death hobby. 
A day on Venus lasts longer than a year on Venus. Venus also spins backwards, so the sun rises in the west and sets in the east. This would make my commutes to work great. No sun in my eyes both ways. A guy can dream. Apparently in Korean fairy tales instead of saying once upon a time they usually say back when tigers used to smoke. I don't remember where I came across it, but the phrase back when trees could walk and stones could talk is my favorite fairy tale starter, and it apparently comes from a time in which tobacco was so cheap that literally everyone used to smoke. The 1980s? That when the Milky Way and Andromeda collide, even though they both have hundreds of billions of stars, the likelihood of any two stars colliding is astronomically low, everything is unimaginably far apart, it'll look pretty cool though. The longest female beard was measured at 36 centimeters or just above one foot. IDK I think my buddy's old girlfriend was taller than that. Cows moo with regional accents. Lots of animals have regional accents. I hope my dog has a regional accent. Lemu. Dasemo. Snails can feel their shells. So if you step on one they feel the entire thing. Now I feel bad. That must hurt. But for the invention of light bulb. People slept an average of about 10 hours every night. They also often didn't sleep through the whole night. A lot of cultures had first sleep and second sleep with a wake up time in the middle to stoke the fire. Have a snack. Talk. ETC. Bring back to sleeps. Many Buddhist statues are Greek in origin. Why? It all started with Alexander the Great. His empire was short lived, but it has left a lot of Greek influence in Asia and Africa. Coptic Christians in Egypt use an alphabet based on Greek in church. Two famous schools of art for Buddhist statues are Gandhara school of art and Matuera school of art. The Gandhara one is Greek in origin, around Bactria, and Matuera one was Indian style. Your eyes have a different immune system than the rest of your body. If they knew about each other, your eyes would basically start dissolving. As your immune system attacks your own eyes, fear not, your brain won't let that happen. Excuse me WTF? Basically your eyes are their own closed containment inside your body. Your regular antibodies would treat the jelly material of your eyes as a foreign agent and flood that area with white blood cells so hard your eyeballs would just dissolve into pus. If you smell fish and no one's cooking, it's an electrical fire. Can confirm. I read this somewhere. So when I started smelling a rather fishy odor that I couldn't tie to anything. I started sniffing various electricals and realized my electronic knitting machine was dangerously overheating, as I would have left it on overnight to avoid losing the place in the pattern. I'm very glad I read that random piece of info somewhere. <laughs> Nearly half of the losses in the Battle of Penang 1914 were prostitutes caught on the sinking Russian cruiser's Hemchug. Hookers on naval underwater vessels should be called substitutes. Rhinos have only 5% body fat, and that fat I'd stored on the bottom of their hooves which makes them effectively silent even at full sprint. This is both astounding and terrifying. Imagine walking along at night and getting horned out of nowhere by a full-size truck you fitn't hear. Any drink under 10% ABV was considered a soft drink until 2011 in Russia. On the flip side, there are some places that only allow beer alcohol under like 4% to be sold in stores. In order to buy anything stronger you must go to liquor store. This is common in Nordic countries and some more conservative state. Echidnas have a four-headed penis. Knuckles. What the hell is that? So that's why he's called Knuckles. The 1989 comedy film Little Monsters has two entirely separate novelizations by two entirely unrelated authors. I don't know why. Do with this information what you will. Who pissed in my apple juice? The singer of Peanut Butter Jelly Time died in an 11 hour police standoff during which his brother in law, Snoop Dogg, attempted to calm him down and convince him to surrender. He died in 2002. How did I not know this until now? Because it hasn't been Peanut Butter Jelly Time since then. Wow. What the F? Nectar can ferment in hot weather, and bees that consume this can effectively get drunk. Drunk bees aren't allowed back in the hive. Saddam Hussein wrote an erotic novel, Zabibur and the King. I love that he also forced everyone in Iraq to learn how to read. If they didn't, they had to go to jail. Adults and children in Iraq were forced to learn how to read. I'm again getting a letter that states you have to go to jail BC you can read. Basically Zabibur is are read by her husband USA stopping Iraq forces in Kuwait. And the King, Saddam, avenges her. 
since we are doing this here is an anecdote about him. Saddam Hussein loved Doritos and Kadita family sized bag in 10 minutes. Marge Simpson was supposed to have bunny ears, I think she has them in the arcade game. And originally Krusty was supposed to be Homer as well. Quite a few interesting changes from the original ideas for the Simpsons. Krusty makes sense. He's drawn exactly the same with Krusty hair added. Albania has the most bunkers in the world because their dictator was scared of being invaded. Olivia Wilde's actual name is Olivia Karkburn. She changed the last name for obvious reasons. Olivia Wilde Karkburn is a fantastic James Bond name. In the mid-1960s a group of robbers used a surplus finish anti-tank gun with a homemade suppressor to punch a hole into the side of a vault at an armored car facility in NY State. They stole almost half a million in valuables. The incident inspired the Clint Eastwood movie Thunderbolt Lightfoot. Oxford University was founded before the Aztec Empire. When Oxford first started they didn't teach calculus, because it hadn't been invented yet. That's a poor excuse. Giraffes have the same amount of vertebrae as humans. Interestingly most mammals do. I think there are only two or three who have a different amount, on being the sloth. All clone fish are born male. The dominant clown changes to female. When the female dies the next dominant male steps up into motherhood. Yes Nemo dad is now his new mother. Actually Nemo's dad is his new wife. The treadmill was actually a torture device in jails. Now it's a torture device in my basement. Now it's a co-track I'm my basement. Damn these prisoners are getting thick, solid, and tight. Imagine being a prison guard and having to outrun a prisoner that never missed leg day. Hair lice came from chimps. Pubic lice came from gorillas. I can only wonder how that happened. Stupid sexy gorillas. And syphilis came from sheep. Pregnant women are not allowed to work in the area of the factory where Pringles receive the flavoring spray. In case they pop and just can't stop, I would love to know the reason behind this. My man is on cancer, it's usually cancer, fine dust. The fastest object man has created is a manhole cover, wasn't that the one which got launched by an explosion from an atomic bomb, and they never found that thing so they assumed it just launched off into space, well they assumed it was incinerated, until they repeated the exercise with a high speed camera and realized it was going so fast it didn't have time to burn up in the atmosphere before it went to space. So yeah not only is a manhole cover the fastest object man has produced, it was also the second fastest object man has produced. The eruption of Mount Krakatoa was the loudest sound ever recorded. It was heard over 3000 miles away. Imagine an explosion so big in New York that Los Angeles hears it. It produced seismic ripples through the earth that were picked up on devices, and showed that the ripples of the explosion circumnavigated the earth several times. The decibels were so high at the point of the explosion that just the sound was lethal within a few miles and is a decibel level that reliquifies solidified concrete. In some far village in Australia it was heard as a gunshot. Almost all Koreans have a genetic mutation which causes them to not produce body odor. Source, smelly AF American in Seoul. Riding the bus in summer after working out feels like sitting in a crowded library with your pants full of sh. I remember reading in another post that an American who was studying there said they had a really hard time finding deodorant when they were there because most stores just didn't sell it. Well I'm half Korean I can confirm that this genetic mutation did not pass on to me unfortunately as I am a smelly bastard by the end of the day. A lot of the times, in ancient Egypt, scribes would use a logographic symbol after some words they wrote to clarify what they mean what i think is crazy about this is that it was exactly like some people use images in some copper pastas like this some penguins have traded sex for stones as they use those stones to make nests truly the oldest profession some female penguins engage in prostitution performing sex act in exchange for pebbles however sometimes they will just trick the male into thinking they'll have sex then run off once she gets the pebble. Truly fascinating animal. That in terms of time Tyrannosaurus rex is closer to humans putting a man on the moon than it was to a stegosaurus dinosaurs were around for a really long time. Also, the first dinosaur bones discovered were in 1819. The founding fathers didn't know dinosaurs existed. Also the first dinosaur bone was discovered in 1677 but they thought it belonged to a giant human. You can fit all the other planets in the solar system, side by side, 
in the space between Earth and our moon. Tell that to Shaquille O'Neal. The moon is closer than California because I can't see the moon any. The singular for spaghetti is spaghetto. That's the bad side of town in Italy. On a cold and grey Chicago morning, a poor little baby child is born. Spaghetto. Times were tough growing up in the spaghetto. If you feel cold but your balls are hanging normal, you have a fever. Ladies, sorry but I don't have any tips for you. Death due to drowning in fresh water is mostly because of ventricular fibrillation and death due to drowning in salt water is because of pulmonary edema. Can someone alive 5? Fresh water pass through lungs into blood. Salt water just stain lungs. Bananas are berries and technically they don't grow on trees. It's a herb that's part of the lotus family. Up until last year, John Tyler, born in 1790 and 10th president of the US, had two living grandsons. One passed away in September but the other one is still alive. So, should someone smang the last living grandson real quick? So we can say John Tyler, born in 1790 and 10th president of the US, has a great grandchild living in 2100. My man is probably shooting dust now. Tyler is the only American president not to have been buried under an American flag. He was a Confederate and died in Virginia during the Civil War. The last Civil War pensioner died in 2020. She was the daughter of a Civil War solider who received disability payments as a child of Civil War veteran. She was born in 1930, 65 years after the war. A lot of the last remaining vets in places like Appalachia hit hard by the depression married much younger women who became entitled to their husbands' pensions. Many of these marriages were simply on paper and done as a way to provide nursing care for a 90-year-old man with no family. But the birth of this lady shows these marriages weren't always for show. A mnemonic device for remembering the order of British peerages do men ever visit Boston? Duke. Marquis, Earl, Viscount, Baron, no, I'm not British and my knowledge of this is no more useful to me than British peerages to the British. In ancient Greece women were considered inside out versions of men. When ancient people found bare skeletons they thought they were humanoid, decided they were demigod skeletons and rebreed them with weapons and armor, and rebreed them with weapons and armor, just the bare necessities. Every time you shuffle a deck of cards, Chances are that you have put them in an order that has never been seen in the history of the universe. This one is actually pretty mind-boggling. I like these probability ones, and yet I still end up with an awful hand every time. It takes two years for a pineapple to grow, and apparently only couple days of someone overwatering it to kill it. It takes two years for a pineapple plant to bear fruit but pineapples do not take that long to grow themselves. Crocodiles cannot stick their tongues out. Jerry Parr was the Secret Service agent who grabbed President Ronald Reagan and threw him in the car when John Hinckley shot the president. He covered Reagan with his body on the way to the hospital and is credited with heroically saving Reagan's life. Parr was initially inspired to join the Secret Service by a movie he saw as a boy called Code of the Secret Service, which starred then young actor, Ronald Reagan. The Hornet Lizard in general is ridiculous its first few lines of defense are normal, camouflage. Sharp horns, being faster than smaller prey the usual defenses, then it will lift its tail to try and entice a predator to attack that before its head, which they usually will since it has much less armor, so that they can be yeeted away since it's crazy easy to detach, and if all else fails it'll jam its face into the predator's mouth hoping it doesn't bite down before firing blood from its eyes that tastes poisonous to freak out the predators and give them time to run away. The Tuatara male lizard has no penis. Probably why they are endangered. Tuataras are actually not lizards they are their own thing. Also they have three eyes. The dress code for MLB umpires requires them to wear dark underwear during games. Honey badgers have about 50 other species that they consider prey. One of which is young honey badgers. They also can almost turn around completely in their skin. Because it's so loose, but also thick as F. They regularly fight animals many times their size. Lions. Hyenas and have been known to f castrate water buffaloes as an attack move. I'm not sure, but I think they can also lay traps for prey. f insane. Maine has more coastline than California. Maine is also the closest part of the US to Africa. Penguin males can't make the difference between female and males, so they just go with anyone they find and when everyone is laying eggs, 
they just look for a stone and pretend it's their egg. Taking turns on who sits on it. The odds of two people sharing a birthday in a room of 20 people is around 50%. My dad taught me this when I was in second grade. I was so fascinated by the fact that two people in my class of 21 had the same birthday. I believe it's actually 23 people to have over 50%. It's fairly counterintuitive. But it starts to make sense when you start to do some simple math. Two people will have one comparison. Either they share a date or they don't. But a third person adds two connections. Four three possibilities. A fourth person adds in four more. For 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. And each person added adds that many more connects. So 23 people has 1 plus 2 plus 3.2 to equals 253 and 1. 1. 1 365. 253. 0.500550.05%. The odds for two people in a room of 20 would be 1. 1. 1 365. 189. 40.46% UAP is 123. The odds for 21 people would be 1. 1. 1 365. 209. 43.64%. At 59 people in a room you have over 99% chance of 2 people sharing a birthday. The spikes on the tail of the Stegosaurus had no common name until the far side did a cartoon referencing it as the Thagomizer. After the late Thag Simmons, the name stuck. That is really what it is called. A lobster is more aerodynamic than a jeep. Almost anything is more aerodynamic than a jeep. A jeep sized lobster or a lobster sized jeep? That in medieval Iceland if you, as a man, wanted to get married your dong had to be over 3 inches. I actually got this from another Ask Reddit post. Is that soft or hard? I imagine in whatever state it is when measuring is done. If there's any question, you better get a working on it. If a rabbit is stressed out enough it will eat its own children. Lots of rodents actually do this. Including mice and rats. Actually lots of wild animals do. Nature is scary. That an ancient king called Mithridates was so scared of being assassinated. He drank small amounts of poison every day until he built up an immunity to every poison known to man. When the Romans invaded his kingdom and defeated him he attempted to poison himself to avoid capture and execution but because he was so used to the poison. It obviously didn't work. Eventually a servant killed him with his sword. Note that this only works with certain fast acting poisons. Other poisons will accumulate in the body long term. With those, taking a small dose every day is just as deadly as a single large dose. Should have sliced himself a little bit every day to build up an immunity to swords. In the event of a radiological disaster, if you use conditioner in your hair you need to wash it out a sap. Conditioner traps radioactive particles in your hair. If my local nuclear plant blew up hair condition would be the least of my concerns but thank you. Cleopatra lived closer to the time when the iPhone was invented than she did to the construction of the Great Pyramid. Libyan dictator Muammar Gaddafi had a crush on Condoleezza Rice and they found photo album full of her photos in his bedroom after he died.